hello friends welcome to our youtube channel and in this video we will see how can we visualize our corridor so one of the best method to check our corridor is to drive through it okay so here i have uh, turned on my existing ground surface and i have turned on the top surface you can refer to other videos on channel so that you know how we can create the top surface of the corridor okay so this also has been displayed so i have made it a slightly bit different uh, style so it's distinguished okay so let's first see the issue and then we're gonna fix it okay so first uh, click on the alignment select your alignment and then you will have a contextual option on analyze map to try so let's try okay and then it will ask for a profile so you just hit enter or select okay i will choose the design profile okay okay wait for a while and it will take you to the fastest mode to be able to drive here okay so you see here our visualization starts and this is taking the cd you can change your style from here but i will keep it like that so that is faster so let's start our visualization one is a fill surface so there is no problem but as soon as we reach the cut surface uh, let me fast forward so here you see we are in cut zone now and this particular part has been it's not feasible the corridor is being you know overlapped with the existing ground surface okay so existing ground surface is coming above the corridor which we don't want we want it in the corridor okay and this part should not be visible okay it should be hidden so let's see how we can do that so close your try mode okay as soon as you get back to the wireframe view the top view okay so uh, on the top view what you have to do is we have two surfaces so if i use the corridor surface the top corridor surface as a mask to the existing ground level then it will be fine i think so let's go ahead and find out where is the cut section so this i think is the cut section okay this part is the cut section this part here even you can notice from this so let's uh, just uh, pinpoint our location so that it will be easier for it's around 1100 okay so here this part 11 it starts around 1100 or 1000 okay so we will directly go to that part and see if we have fixed it or not okay so for that let's go ahead and go to your tool space and here in the tutorial surface the existing surface that is okay we will add a mask and for that you just you know it's uh it's like this so click on this plus button and it will unveil this mask uh, option so right click on the mask and say create mask okay create mask and it will ask you to select an object so precisely selected the corridor feature line around it okay and click it so you see this surface will be selected and hit enter okay you can name the mask also if you want so make sure the mask type is not outside outside will be the you know it should be inside outside won't work in this case so our boundary this mask is inside the our surface okay so click okay and wait for a while as it processes okay cool now it appears you don't see other the the lines crossing our corridor so it has been hidden okay very good you see and all location is like this no problem okay so again we go to our drive mode click our alignment click drive and hit enter to select your select profile and say okay And wait for the drive mode okay now it's here from here on your navigate panel you have the changes okay so we'll go directly to uh, maybe 
900 and let's see drive from there here you see it's already been cut okay okay so let's go a little bit before that so we see the transition okay 690 okay you see this fill area and then cut area so let's play again and you see now it's it's cut and the surface uh the existing ground surface is hidden okay so this is how it works but you notice here we have some white spaces spots here also and if you go back to maybe let's go uh, like to 260 you will notice not 260 maybe 310 you'll notice these white spots what are they let's see what are they they are actually the the uh, the surface the corridor surface that has been created and it's wrongly created and that is beyond our uh, actual embankment of the or or cut of our corridor okay so let's see how we're gonna fix it there's an easy fix for that stop and then close it okay once we are back to the normal view let's inspect our our corridor surface you see here here this our embankment is like this but the surface extends beyond our embankment here here you see in other case there are a lot of you see here it's a big one okay it's it is going beyond our embankment okay so let's see how we can fix it so first we select our corridor not the corridor surface select our corridor and go to the corridor properties here you are right now on surfaces go to the boundaries okay boundaries tab and there you will have options so let's add for both this is the top surface we are right now so add add corridor extent as boundary and just click like that and that's all we have to do and say okay and all these extra part will be deleted okay and you will be left with the surface the uh, with the with the embankment uh, surface till your embankment only okay okay let's see now now we don't have any left extra part you see even this part has been removed okay so this is fine fine guys okay so now you can see go back to your view if you want to view let's see let's see uh near that big cut we had that region so let's go and drive there and see if we still have that problem but i don't think there is a problem this is a foolproof method okay let's go to around where we were like 800 something yes i think 800 something left okay so now you don't see any other surfaces okay even around like 300 we had something like that okay so we go back we don't have the white surfaces now so this has been fixed so this is how you can fix you can visualize and drive through your alignment this is how you can drive okay so let's go. So we have a good view of this particular and i will stop it here and change my mode to uh, realistic let's see how it appears this is a graphics intensive task so make sure you have a good graphics so mine is old one so i mostly try not to use realistic mode okay so realistic mode is also not that good uh, we will learn how to make it better okay in the future tutorials okay so thanks for watching guys and um, like share subscribe to our channel comment if you have any doubts and see you soon have a great time